good morning. Again, late April, we're at the Lady Knox Geyser. Almost four years ago, I was here in June, sitting on a slightly different angle. In about 10 minutes time, we'll start a commentary where there'll be a gentleman who will go out there and explain what this is all about and the history of the area, why it's called the Lady Knox Geyser, and he will put some surfactant, some environmentally friendly surfactant in the geyser to set it off for the tourists. Lady Knox Geyser, Waiatapu Wonderland, North Island, New Zealand. Geyser just sitting there having a little bit of a steam away by itself. Here he is. Good morning everyone and welcome to Waiatapu Thermal Wonderland. My name's Daniel and I've got the privilege of this morning of explaining the geyser to you this morning. Now just before I go, over, go into the main speech about the geyser, I'm just going to quickly go over a few little safety notes for everyone. Now for people that are heading back to the park after seeing the geyser eruption, when you are walking around the park, it is really important for everyone just to stay on the form pathways at all times. It's just for your own safety because it is a very active geothermal park. And it's also a good idea just to check that you've got appropriate footwear on as well before heading through the park as well. Okay, so the first thing I'll sort of cover off on first is geysers in general. Now to see a geyser eruption, it is quite tricky because there's only a few places in the world you can actually see geysers erupt. Of course, here in New Zealand, also in the United States and Russia, and also remote places in Iceland as well. Now back in the 1800s, in the Taupo region, there was estimated to be about 130 geysers scattered throughout the area. But by the 1970s, the number had dropped down to 15 geysers in the area. Now the reason why there was a drop in number of geysers throughout the Taupo district was through natural occurrences, but also man-made interference as well. But luckily right here at Waiatapu has been a very strong and active geyser field. How our main geyser here sort of first came about was back in 1901. Now back then, New Zealand decided to build its first open prison. And they decided to build the prison right here at Waiatapu. The prison was actually just built just on the other side of the main car park here. Now when this prison was built, its main objectives were to bring all the prisoners from the jails of the Rotorua Lake District. So all the prisoners came out to Waiatapu here, and when they came out here, they were also told they had to work off their time as well. So most of the prisoners were employed to cut the light bush and shrub, to make way for the roads, and also the planting of the pine trees for the Kaingaroa forest as well. Now as you could imagine, way back then, it would have been a very hard and a very dirty job. So when some of the prisoners, while exploring the area, they came across this geyser field. And when they first came across this geyser here, there was no cone check to it at all. It was just a little bubbling hot spring. And all the prisoners got quite excited about it because hot water wasn't freely available to them back at the camp. So they decided to use this hot water in the hot spring to their advantage. They used it to wash their clothes and themselves with. One day when they were doing their washing at the geyser here, when they were scrubbing their clothes, one of the prisoners, by accident, dropped his bar of soap into the spring. Now what he did is he changed the surface tension in the water, so by accident actually setting off the geyser. So all of a sudden the geyser just erupted, shooting water and the clothes into the air, and all the prisoners went running back into the shrub. It's quite an effective washing machine and dryer at the same time as well, it's pretty cool. <laughs> After the geyser had done its eruption, the prisoners came back down to here and they all started talking and they all agreed that soap was actually setting off the geyser. So they started setting off the geyser frequently all the time just for their own entertainment. <laughs> now some of the prisoners also decided to place rocks around the base of the spring to enhance the geyser eruption. So they've made that cone shape to, to it and that's enhancing it to erupt even higher. Now what I'm actually adding into the geyser this morning is a chemically engineered surfactant. Now it's environmentally friendly but it sets off the geyser in the same way as that the prisoners were doing back then. So I'll just quickly add it into the geyser now. Mother Nature now decides So the geyser would naturally erupt on its own without me adding any surfactant to the geyser. 
but the geyser's natural eruption cycle would be anywhere between 24 hours to 72 hours. So yes, the geyser does go off on its own, but just anywhere between those times, and we wouldn't know when. So the only reason why we add the surfactant to it is so you guys can come and see the geyser erupt. So what's actually happening underneath the geyser here, just below my feet, there is a large cool chamber of water. Now, below that, there's also a hot chamber of water. Now, that hot chamber of water is reaching oh, okay. temperatures over 150 Celsius. So what's actually stopping that boiling water just erupting out of the geyser is that cooler water that's a little bit above it, and that cooler water is around about 90 Celsius. What the surfactant is doing right now is it's breaking the surface tension in that cooler water. So the cooler water is now starting to mix in with that hot water. And when you get those two different temperatures of water meeting, the water turns into steam and expands. And it just keeps expanding and pressurizing and building up the pressure, and then eventually the geyser will just suddenly erupt. When the geyser does erupt, it can reach up to heights of 20 meters, and the eruption is also known to last up to an hour as well. Both chambers of water hold about 27,000 litres of water, so there is a fair bit of water just underneath the ground just here. Also in this water source, it's very rich in a mineral called silica. Now silica is a mineral that you'll find in every rock anywhere around the world, it's on every sandy beach, and in this water source it's very rich in silica. So when the geyser erupts, it deposits the mineral silica around the geyser. So that's what's given it the white cone-shaped appearance. Now the geyser is named after Lady Constant Knox. She was the daughter of Lord Ranfilly. Lord Ranfilly was the 15th Governor of New Zealand back in 1903. And part of his job was to inspect all prisons throughout New Zealand. Uh, so when he came out to the one here at Waiatapu to do an inspection, he decided to bring his family along as well because they heard about the geyser. After they'd done an inspection, they came down here to do a bit of a shoot, photo shoot and to set off the geyser. And um, Lord Ranfilly gave the privilege to his daughter, Lady Constant Knox, to set off the geyser. She set it off, and then it just got christened there onwards as the Lady Knox geyser. See, I'm saying, there you go, guys. The geyser's just away now. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to come and see me afterwards. Um, about Any questions about the geyser or about the park? But apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoy your day here with us at Waiatapu Thermal Wonderland. And thank you so much, guys. Listen to the roar. Lynn's obviously swung around, so I still hear the hissing away. It's now some minutes after the guys that were set off, the tourists are dispersing, so we're up on the upper level nearer where we were four years ago, and it's still going. And reasonably strong. For a while there it actually looked as if it was getting taller into the air. Certainly constant flow of steam and water coming out of there. The wind's uh, gone round again since my last little bit of the movie. Um, there's mother nature at her best. Yes. And that ends our visit to the Lady Nux Geyser, Waiatapu Wonderland, New Zealand.